Today's episode brings me to Chanticleer Gardens, which is near Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It's an estate garden. It's actually labeled a pleasure garden. And you will see that it is a very pleasurable and pleasant place to spend some time. So thank you for joining me today. And let's, let's roll them. This is really a beautiful, beautiful place. Welcome to Grace Garden, where I love to be. But I also love to travel and explore the big, beautiful garden that we all share. I'm your host, Carol Kanicki, and I'm so glad you've come along. So thankful to enjoy the beauty in nature and to get to work with the things that I love and to get to share all that with you. Join me for some awesome adventures in nature and at some other exciting destinations. I hope to inspire you and to document my memories. Thank you for coming along with me out into our Grace Garden. Today we're at a premier garden in Pennsylvania. It's near Philadelphia. It's about an hour away from my house. And you are gonna be blown away. This is the estate of the Rosengarten family. It's 48 acres of absolute garden glory and the home and property are on the National Register of Historic Places. This is known as the teacup garden. And I love everyone's use of chartreuse in their gardens this year. This is a white garden. How lovely. Or maybe it's a moon garden. Meant to be viewed in the evening.
We're coming up here to the top of the tennis court garden, which is sort of like a sunken paradise garden. This is amazing. This is so much plant fun. Look at this. Look how they're... This used to be one great big square that you'd walk around, around very um, geometric. This is beautiful. And then the, the railings of the stairs are all planted with, I don't know whether they're aloes or cycads, I'm awful at succulents. I think they're agaves, that's what I think they are. And then there's all of these pieces of handicraft artwork. I did mention before that this is the estate of the Rosengarten family. This is the private estate of people that still actually live in the house that I'm walking next to. Um, and they have tours of the downstairs places um, sometimes. I've never been on a tour, but this garden is full of the most 
amazing. Designs. Um, the gardens are, are always different year by year, season by season. And I've been coming here for a long time. And I'm blown away every single time I come here by the plants, by the workmanship of the hardscape pieces. Nothing is happenstance. It's just the most amazing garden. This is a swimming pool. This is the p swimming pool garden. This is the back of the house. So it's so inspiring that you can see something here that captures your imagination. And do it in your own spaces. And the reason there's roosters everywhere is because Chanticleer, that word Chanticleer means rooster. Now this spot over here is one of my favorite spots. It turns from the hot, this used to be a lawn last time I was here, um, before COVID, but it turns the hot plantings out here into this oasis garden. Now, this path is what's called an elevated, elevated walkway. There's all kinds of stuff planted and stuffed full of awesome plants in there. And this ground is like chewed up tires, so it feels really comfortable to walk on. It's really cute, neat here. It's a cool feeling, very urban. And then you get this amazing vista. And today is Friday, so they're open late tonight till 8 o'clock 
I normally don't visit places or shop or do anything on a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. As a standard rule to avoid crowds and waiting in lines. But uh, they're open late on Friday and you're allowed to picnic in the garden on Fridays. This is pretty awesome. This is pretty awesome. <laughs> And I brought a picnic with me so we can have a picnic in the garden tonight too. And there's so much more of this garden yet to see. So please make sure you're subscribed because I'm going to have to make a part two. I hope you've enjoyed coming along with me so far today. Thank you. Bye now. <laughs>